The, the robotic weld cell uh, has forced my laser guys and my press brake guys uh, to be more on their toes and getting the work done right because they're automatically checked every day. The parts have to be right because they have to fit in the fixtures. And so you, you uh, uh, I think it builds a, a, a little more of a quality culture in. The number one thing you have to look at is can you produce uh, precise parts to put in the in the machine. If you have uh, part variations uh, beyond a 32nd of an inch on critical dimensions, uh, I think you're going to have trouble putting a robotics welding cell in. If you can produce uh, uh, precise parts, then I think you have to look at at the, your your ability to produce enough parts uh, to keep the robots busy. The first cell we put in, we said, okay, let's plan on getting a, a, a 15 or 20 percent increase in productivity, and that's what we used when we bid the next uh, next work, where we were gonna, knew we were going to base it on robotically welding it, and uh, when we found out that it did a little better than that, why uh, uh, things were good. The robots have, have allowed us to significantly inc increase the, the, the volume of work that we've been able to do in the shop. They've, uh, um, they've been very effective at selling our entire operation. Um, a robotically produced part typically ha then has to have some CNC press brake formed parts in it and has some laser cut parts in it, and as a result, uh, uh, we've been able to keep the whole shop busier. We looked at, at the ability to weld aluminum as being one of the, the significant issues. Uh, it has a sophisticated power supply on it so that we can change the number of the welding parameters, we can vary them as we go through the welds. Uh, it makes it a lot easier uh, to do the coordinated motion welding where uh, things change as you're going, going around the corners. And if you, can, if you can make the power supply do that, uh, keep up with you, it makes the parts come out a lot better. We've definitely seen the ability of the robot to pay for itself. And the payback, uh, because, because of the contracts we were able to find, uh, yeah, they, they paid for themselves significantly faster than we anticipated.